Hey guys, Shock here from Shock e Tech, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about the top 10 features on the Samsung Galaxy tablets running the brand new One UI 6.0. So this here is a Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra. Of course, these features are going to apply to the Tab S9 series, whatever model, the Tab S8 series, and any other tablet that's going to get the One UI 6.0. What you can do is you can swipe down, go to your settings, and then go all the way down and tap on software update, and tap on download and install, and if it is available, it's gonna show up right here. Now, in my case, I have the last update, as you can see, was One UI 6.0. It was a massive update. It's not gonna be small, almost 2.6 gigabytes. So let's dive in and look at all the new features. Now, the first thing I wanna talk about has to do with the brand new control panel. So this over here is the notifications, and this here, when you swipe again, is the control panel, and this is brand new. We have a new logical design. You can see on the top, we've got our connections. Over here, we have our customizable quick toggles. Over here, we have display-related settings. Brightness slider, eye comfort shield, and the dark mode you can toggle from here on and off, as you can see. And at the bottom, we have other things like device control and smart view. Now, what you are able to do with this area is you're able to tap the pen icon here, and you are able to edit the top and the full version. Real quick, let me show you what I'm talking about here. This is the top version. So this is the quick toggles on the top. You get a total of seven. But when you pull it down, you get these. So there's so many over here. So what you can do is, again, tap on this guy, and you are able to edit the top quick toggles. So those seven toggles that on the top that you might be using most often can be right here. And again, if I want to remove something, I tap on this. Okay, as you can see, if I want to add something, I just tap on that, and it goes right up there. Let me tap on Do Not Disturb. Now I have seven quick toggles. I can tap on Done, and that would reflect on this top line over here. Now the next up, you can tap on Edit again, and you are able to edit the full quick toggles area. Same situation. I can tap on stuff I don't want. It drops down over here, and these are available buttons. So if I want to add something, I tap here, and it goes to the top. On the top, I can move them around like this to rearrange them based on my priorities, okay? But that's going to reflect in the full quick toggle area. And then you do have a couple other options. One option is this one, quick settings, instant access. So if I enable this, and if I go back out, look at this. If I swipe from here, from the corner down, it goes straight into the quick toggles, okay? But if I swipe from here, it goes to the notifications panel, they have to swipe it again. But if you just wanna quickly access the full quick toggles, you do it from the side, boom, it just brings it up. So that's number one. Number two has to do uh, with the music player widget that now looks amazing. So let me launch uh, YouTube music over here as an example. I'm gonna run a music over here. Let's tap on these Christmas hits. Okay, now when I go out, when I pull this down, you are gonna see we have this beautiful toggle over here that has this wavy animation, all right? And also, it has the album art in the background. So if I tap over here and if I play something else, let's choose this over here. Now look at this. Now when I pull this down, it's gonna have that background art. Now this music widget also gets inherited in the lock screen. So if I go to my lock screen right here, double tap, it's gonna be right here. And also if I tap on the clock, it is also gonna be under the widgets as you can see right here. So that is fantastic. It can also be uh, collapsed or expanded and it does look very, very nice. So that's the new music toggle, looks amazing. The next thing I wanna talk about has to do with Samsung DeX. So you know that your tablet has built-in DeX functionality. If I go to my connected devices, and if I go to Samsung DeX, what we now have is we have a new DeX and a classic DeX. Now you may not know the classic DeX, but most people do. If you tap on this, it takes you to the DeX interface that gives you a computer-like interface with Windows and all that stuff. Now, you have a quicker version known as the New Dex. So look at this, if I tap on New Dex, and if I tap on Start Dex, 
The whole process is almost instantaneous. Now I am in the new DEX mode, and you can see it says exit DEX, okay? If I tap on exit, look at the bottom over here. It all changes. I'm going to show you something else too. If I tap on start DEX, that's the new DEX. Now, when I launch Windows, they open up like little windows, and I get these nice buttons on the top. As you can see, I can maximize it. Uh, I can minimize it or do a pop-up, or I can just minimize it, tap it again, and I can exit out. That's the new DEX mode that works instantaneously under connected devices, Samsung DEX. So let me tap on exit, and the classic mode was the older mode, which still works, by the way. If you tap on this one, it launches Samsung DEX, but there's also an improvement here. It is now much faster to launch. So look at this, that was almost instantaneous also. Not as fast as the new DEX, but still here. And this is your regular computer-like, PC-like interface that emulates something like Windows 11 or Mac. And notice this, when I exit the DEX mode, it is also gonna be very fast, okay? Previously, it took more time than this. Now it goes right back. You can see we're right over here, okay? But remember, now under settings, you are going to have the new DEX. And that's going to be just a quicker version, but it allows you to keep the widgets. So I can keep my widgets, as you can see, and still run DEX. So I have all these windows now floating on the screen. I can tap over here, and I can start multitasking all that good stuff very, very easily by tapping those quickly accessible buttons X, minimize, and all that stuff. Next up what we have is we have a modification to the lock screen. So when I go to the lock screen, and if I try to edit the lock screen, let me just press and hold here, and that's gonna activate editing. So put the pin number in or fingerprint, and I'm in the editing screen. Now when I tap on the clock here, this is an existing feature, all this stuff, but now I can take the clock and I can move it left or right and up and down. It's too big for me to move. If I change the size, Look at this, so I can have it here, 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 or here. So they added the ability to move the clock left and right, up and down, based on its size. That's one of the newer features. Now, one more thing they added was they added the link to Windows feature. We also have a brand new studio movie editor app that is now standalone. So normally when you go to your gallery, you are able to pick a bunch of photos or video files together and you're able to tap on create, and you are able to create a movie that normally launches the movie editor mode, but now that has become the studio application, which is in fact standalone application. So again, if I go back over here, and if I just cancel this for a second, let me just exit all this stuff. We're back in the gallery. If I tap right over here, you can see we have the go to studio option added. When I tap on that, that takes me st uh, straight into the studio application, and I just tap that button and added this to my desktop. So not the desktop, I'm in app drawer. So I'm going to go back here. Now we have the studio application right here. I can access this, and I can use this to create new projects. And, you know, it opens up my gallery. I can pick my files that I want to edit. Now, these are just photos, but you can use videos to create movies. But I'm just using photos as an example. When you tap on Done, it puts them all together, as you can see, okay? And I can play through it, as you can see, okay? And I can even tap over here. I can add effects, like fade. So look at this, fade effect, okay? And you can create these movies and because you have a powerful processor in the tablet, it's gonna give you some great experience. You can even add music, as you can see. Okay, I can add music from my music library. I can add text onto the screen. This is now the standalone studio application to create and edit movies. Now we also have a brand new weather widget and a weather application. So first let me show you the weather application. So basically if you just search for it, it is gonna be redesigned and what I like about the new design is when you scroll down a little bit, right over here you have a bundle of useful information at a glance. So you can see we have visibility, pressure, wind, dew point, UV index, humidity, and also sunrise to sunset schedule, 
and moon set to moonrise and also the current moon cycle so I like the fact that they have it all bundled together for at a glance access to useful information for people that have to track these things okay and the other thing is we have this brand new weather insights widget so if I pinch the screen go to my widgets and go down under weather you can see that we have this weather insights widget all right so basically what this is is you just drag it and you put it on the desktop right here I already have two of them uh, but you can see on one side it gives you some insights about the upcoming weather and on this side just gives you what the weather actually is so it's gonna say here rain ending around 945 that means it's raining outside and also it says the rain is gonna be less than 0.25 inches which is nothing so you get that nice insight for any weather condition and they're only gonna give you the most relevant and important information so that's a nice little widget to have let me just remove uh, two of these guys next thing that we have is we do have a brand new camera widget that I like a lot uh, I don't use cameras on my tablet but if you do look at this pinch the screen uh, go into widgets and then go into camera we have a brand new custom camera widget you can have as many of these as you want on the screen let me show you what it does so I'm gonna grab it and just dump it right here so what I can do is as soon as I dump it 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 opens up the customization screen so first I can give it a title let me just say selfie okay I'm gonna say selfie cam I'm gonna save and then it's gonna allow me to put the starting mode so what I want to do is I want to start the front camera and I want to go directly into the video mode okay and then I go back and then I tap uh, over here this is where I choose where I want to save the video files okay and also I can give it a custom background for the widget I'm just gonna say use most recent image tap on save now I have this uh, widget right here now look at this if I tap on it it launches the camera automatically that's it and it launches what I told it to launch that is the front camera in the selfie mode in the video format okay so again if I pinch and go to widgets just to give you one more example here if I dump it here I can also tell it to start the rear camera in the photo mode okay I can have these shortcuts save it it's gonna be right there so when I tap on this one that's gonna launch uh, the rear camera in the photo mode as you can see so a fantastic little widget if you use the camera to the tablets so if I go to my settings connected devices I now have the option to use link to Windows feature which is an amazing feature it connects your tablet to your Windows computer and you can you can get access to your tablet using your Windows 11 or 10 PC okay so you can test it out you will need a Microsoft account which you should already have if you have a Windows computer anyway okay so you log in with the same Microsoft account on the laptop or the computer and on this and they'll connect to each other you are going to be able to transfer files back and forth but it's great that they now bring it into the tablet all right so those are some of the top new features for one ui 6.0 on the samsung galaxy tab s9 ultra s9 plus and the s9 as well as s8 series for now but it's going to come to more tablets as one ui 6.0 becomes more common any questions comments or concerns drop them down below let me know for now guys have a fantastic day